So you've uh, looked at the Stan Freeberg, looked at, <laughs> you've listened to the Stan Freeberg uh, radio commercial illustrating what can be done with the theater of the mind of radio. So just as with Out of Home, you're challenged to make the most of the limited quality of impression. With Out of Home, as you remember, we called it provocative simplicity. That's what you want to achieve with your creative. Something uh, readable, um, but something that uh, intrigues passerby so that that person's mind is engaged with your creative. And the same with, with radio. You're going to use words that make people think of a place. You use sounds that make people think of a place. You you paint a picture, you make a sound picture, um, and you can do a lot with radio, including, you know, making uh, Lake Michigan a big uh, uh, chocolate sundae. Um, so we're pretty much wrapping up uh, with our discussion of radio. Uh, you recall that uh, in the Queen song Radio Gaga, they talk about radio's finest hours, perhaps not here yet. And, um, I'd just like to call your attention to something. Um, this is a basic disaster supply kit that's recommended um, uh, by the government. It's supposed to have water, food, flashlight, first aid kit, extra batteries, whistle. You can see all these things here, but you'll see Battery powered or hand crank radio, including a weather report with a tone alert. So I just think it's interesting that uh, the government is prepared to do radio broadcasts. Um, if we had some kind of emergency, God forbid, um, we'd be back to relying on radio, not our cell phones radio to get information um, so I find that uh, interesting and um, here's our radio gaga again and so what have we talked about in this lecture on radio when we define radios, like audible, sound-based programming and content, how and why did it develop as it did? Its role in the media mix is primarily local, and that kind of adds in GRPs, and it reaches your audience in another way with your message. Uh, we look at the history of electronic communications. Uh, we talked about the beginnings of broadcasting in the U.S., and uh, how radio was affected by television, by the automobile, by the invention, invention of the transistor. We looked at, we looked at, we listened to, I keep saying that, some old radio content and programming. Um, we heard our friend Stan Freeberg. We talked about buying radio. We talked about DMAs, and we talked about... Uh, Um, Arbitron measuring radio. We looked at the key players in the business, the iHeart radios, the intercoms, the NPRs, etc. So we covered a lot of territory. And that is our uh, lecture on radio. Thanks, guys.